Hey, what's up? My name is Caleb. I'm a full-time reseller. Today I'm going to be going over what a six-figure clothing reseller picks up at the thrift store. And this week I'm going to be going over part of my thrift haul from last week, the more lightweight spring and summer items, and I'm going to be going over my entire thrift haul from this week. I think it's going to be roughly about 100 items, so I'm going to show you every single one, what I paid for it, and what I expect to sell it for. This first one is an Eli Cattleman Western shirt. I paid five bucks for this. The reason I grabbed this is because it had this embroidered detail here and also these pockets here. The keyword for this is called a smile pocket. This particular piece had a couple features that'll help it sell a little bit quicker because these are a little bit of a slower seller. Uh, but like I said, because of those things, it should sell a little bit quicker and I would guess about 20 bucks. Here's the tag on that one. I paid $7.50 for this Lauren Ralph Lauren dress shirt. The reason I grabbed this one is because it is new with tags. Anytime I find any of the Ralph Lauren lines, maybe other than chaps, new with tags, I know that's a good 20, 25, 30 bucks. So I'd be to pay $7.50 for this. If I had to guess on this particular one, it's about a $25 item. Paid a little under three bucks for this 511 tactical polo. It is new with tags. It does have some uh, patches sewn on there, or maybe they're ironed on or glued on. Not sure, but either way, this brand is so good that, you know, at two, three bucks, I'm just gonna pick it up. Uh, and even if I sell it cheap for 15 to 20 bucks, still gonna make my $10 profit just cause the brand is so good and it's new with tags. I paid 10 bucks for these Eddie Bauer pants. Uh, they are new with tags, which is why I was willing to pay about 10 bucks for them. And also the size is amazing on these. It's 34, 36. So anytime you have a longer inseam than the waist, uh, that's going to increase the sell through rate and increase the value a little bit. I would say the exception to that rule is if you have a 30 waist with a 32 inseam, that's still pretty common. Uh, but these really long inseams, 36 inseams are more rare. Um, because this is new with tags and because of those things, I think it will sell pretty quickly for Eddie Bauer and maybe for around 25 to 30 bucks. I paid $7.50 for these Peter Millar shorts. These are the Crown Sport model and these have like a seersucker print on them. They're not quite textured, but I'll still probably throw that in the title because that's the classic look that you're going for. With Peter Millar items, there is a model number. So the material tag is here on the inside and then on this back tag, there's a model number right there. So on this one, it is MS17EB84. So I'm gonna type that into Google and that will help me get the model name for these shorts, which will help me sell them for more money and a little bit quicker. I love doing that on Peter Millar because people that are really into Peter Millar know the style and size and print and everything that they're looking for. Uh, so you can really find your right buyer quickly. I paid about five bucks for these vintage Levi's denim shorts. They are black, which do sell better for me. And they are orange tab, which also sell better for me. Um, so you're looking at this little Levi's tab here on the pocket. These are actually from 1995, so I would say mid-90s, orange tab, black, Levi's shorts, probably about 25 bucks. Paid about five bucks for this FootJoy polo. I don't really pick up the basic patterns in FootJoy, but this one was new with tags, uh, so that's the exception to the rule, and I think I'll sell this for about 25 bucks. I paid six bucks for these Nike golf pants. This is the Tour Performance line, and it also is a size 30 by 32, which, as I mentioned before, that longer inseam than the waist uh, does help the sell through rate on pants and we're going into golf season so this is a nice little bread and butter item for that will sell for about 20 bucks i paid five bucks for these nike board shorts I've never really seen anything like it and it has this logo on there so if you know what that logo is definitely let me know in the comments below um, but i'm sure i'll be able to figure it out from the style code if i can find that yeah the style code on nike is underneath the material tag and it's that six digit code followed by a three digit code so this is 372049. So I'll type that into Google and try to figure out uh, what the model name is on these. But because they were interesting and had this cool geometric pattern, I felt good picking them up for five bucks because I think I can at least get 15, 20 bucks. I paid five bucks for this Peter Millar shirt. I am picky with the uh, button down shirts from Peter Millar that I pick up. This one was size 2XL, which definitely helps the value. And this is a polyester nylon blend. Um, so I'm sure that there is a model name that goes with this particular style. I don't almost has a lightweight flannel material, but I'm gonna look up that style code that I mentioned, same as on the shorts, and get the exact model name for this. It'd probably help it sell quicker and for about 25 bucks. The model number on this is MF19EW61BL. Here's another new with tags Lauren Ralph Lauren button up. I paid about 12 bucks for this one. I think this one will go for 25 to 30 as well. I paid five bucks for this FootJoy polo. Once again, the only reason I picked this up is it had this kind of interesting checkered pattern on it. Uh, it is size XL. 
XL, which is a decent size. So I think this will sell for about 25 bucks. Paid under three bucks for this Ralph Lauren button up. This one's not new with tags and it's not a plus size, but it is size XL, which is decent. And it is the modern, more modern label. And just because this is so cheap, I like to pick these up uh, when they're like under four bucks because I can list them so quickly because I have enough of them in my store. They do sell a bit slower, but I know that I'm gonna sell this for 15 to 20 bucks and make my $10 profit and have like no time into this item. I paid 750 for this Brooks Brothers shirt. Uh, the reason I grabbed this one is it's new with tags. Uh, I pretty much pass on all Brooks Brothers shirts unless there's a very uh, special exception, uh, but new with tags is one of those. So I think this will sell for about 25, 30 bucks. I paid about four bucks for this David Donahue button up. This was a big size of size 18 which I think is more like a 2XL. I just recently started picking these up a couple months ago and they're starting to sell uh, in my store, which tells me that they sell within about uh, two, three months. So I'm happy to pick up things under five bucks, uh, even if I can only sell it for 20 to 25, if it's gonna sell quickly. This next item, I found two of the exact same item in a different size. This one's XL, this one's medium, but these are also FootJoy polos but they have this really cool floral pattern, so I think that'll get these sold quick for about 25 bucks. Paid four bucks for this outdoor research button-up shirt. This is a short sleeve, but it also is pearl snap. Never seen this from an outdoor brand like this, um, but this is the logo that you're looking for. This is a really good outdoors brand called Outdoor Research. Uh, this is probably one of the worst items you can find in that brand, a short sleeve button up, but it could be a little bit better than I think just because it has those pearl snaps on it. If I had to guess, it's about a $20 item. Here's another Brooks Brothers, same as before. This one's new with tags, so I'm happy to pay $7.50, sell this for $25 to $30. I paid five bucks for this Patagonia button up shirt. This is just a short sleeve, it's very basic. Uh, it's only 100% cotton, so no crazy materials or anything, um, but just because the brand is so strong, I think this will be a quick 20 bucks. I paid five bucks for this Paul and Shark yachting shirt. Um, they have some jackets and outerwear and stuff that sells for really good money, um, but here's the brand. The button up shirts are really just honestly not amazing, um, but because the brand is so strong, I was happy to pick these up for five bucks. Try to sell them for about 20 bucks, and I actually got a couple more that you'll see later, uh, so I'll be able to list them very quickly because uh, I got a lot of very similar items. Here's another one of the Paul and Shark shirts. I paid five bucks for this Ralph Lauren shirt. This one is vintage. It has this really bright, uh, colorful plaid and it's size 2XL. So all those things stack on top of each other to make this one worthwhile. I'll probably sell this for about 20 bucks. So I just set this down on my uh, table here where I pull to take my photographs. Uh, and I realized that this had a stain on the front. Um, so what I do when I see it right there, I get my little OxyClean spray and I spray it and I have a little brush and I brush it into it and then I put it in a pile uh, to go through the washing machine with another round of OxyClean stain remover type detergent. Um, and then once that pile gets to be about one load worth of laundry, I do it or my mom actually helps me out and will take it if I get behind on doing that and do some of the loads for me. Uh, and so that's how I treat stuff that has stains. If it comes out of the wash and it still has a stain on it, if it's worth listing still with the stain, of course I'll just do that. If it's not, then I'll redonate the item as long as it's still in usable condition for somebody else that might buy it just to wear it. I paid four bucks for this Ralph Lauren as well. This is a 2XL um, and this one actually has the flesh pony on it. So when it has that colored pony, uh, you know, people that collect and wear a Ralph Lauren, just look for that. So this will help it sell a little bit quicker and, you know, probably not for more money, but mostly just helping the speed because these can be a little bit saturated. Uh, this will sell for about 20 bucks. I paid two bucks for this J. Crew chambray shirt. This is a nice little bread and butter item and the thrifts don't price these up. Uh, so I love selling these for 20 to 25 and at 250 with another 25% off, so under 250, it's really a no brainer. I paid 750 for these vintage Wrangler, they're called the dress jeans. It's like this polyester kind of tweed looking kind of thing. It's really stretchy. Uh, but the reason I actually grabbed this is it's new with tags. And I just really love the old looking tag on this. When I looked them up, there was kind of mixed results on the comps. Uh, but because mine were new, there weren't many vintage ones listed that were new. I felt I had a good chance of selling these quickly. And I would say they'd sell for about 25 bucks. I paid six bucks for this L.L. Bean denim shirt. I really love these heavyweight denim shirts from the outdoors brands or other big brands with a high retail value because the denim shirts seem to be ones that stand out a little bit more than your typical button downs. Um, this one was made in Canada, so it definitely has a vintage look on the tag. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how old that means it is, but a vintage L.L. Bean denim shirt, I'm sure this is a great pickup for six bucks. I would guess 25. And everything I just said on the last item, you can duplicate on this one. Uh, this is a vintage Ralph Lauren denim shirt. Uh, everything I just said about the L.L. Bean, 
Same thing goes for this. I paid just under 250 for this Peter Millar Summer Comfort Polo. Uh, this is a very basic color, just a solid, uh, and it does have, it looks like a golf course on there. On the sleeve, it says Nature's Golf, uh, so I'm not sure if that's the Mossy Oak slogan or something like that, but this is size XL, um, so just because I got this so cheap, I know I can sell this for 15 to 20 bucks, even though it's just a basic color. So here's an item I know pretty much nothing about. Uh, if you sell women's clothing or if you're a lady in here, uh, please help me out here. This is a new Tags Chico's piece. It's called the Short Jacket Zipper Three Quarter Sleeve Black. So I'm guessing this is some sort of like sport coat maybe, a uh, sport jacket, um, kind of like a businessy kind of thing. Uh, but the retail price on here was $129, so I felt picking this up for five uh, is a pretty safe investment since it's new with tags. Paid about 10 bucks for these Levi's. Uh, they are black, which is my favorite color of Levi's to sell because they sell the quickest, uh, and they are new with tags. It is a skinny model, which is not really the quickest seller, but it's a decent size and it's new with tags, so I think this will be a quick 25, 30 bucks. I paid three bucks for this C.E. Schmidt like work shirt. Um, this is like a really heavy cotton twill. Uh, but the reason I grabbed this one is it's 3XL and it was super cheap. So I think this would be a $15 to $20 sale uh, pretty quick because of that big size. I paid $750 for this Robert Graham shirt. This brand definitely has cooled down, but there are still really amazing pickups in this brand. The reason I grabbed this one is it has a really faint paisley print. Paisley is definitely the most desirable print in these Robert Graham and loud dress shirts. Um, and it does have the flip cuffs which means it just has a different pattern inside the cuff. So if you wanna you know, roll your cuff up when you're walking around to look like you have money, uh, this is what you wear. Because of the pattern on here, I would say it's about a $25 item. I paid about four bucks for this Brooks Brothers sweater vest. This is 100% merino wool, has a nice argyle pattern with the V-neck. Those are the keywords that I'll be using. Good size of XL as well. So I think this will sell quick for about 25 bucks. I paid four bucks for these LL Bean jeans. I typically don't pick up the regular LL Bean jeans, but these ones had a super long inseam uh, of 34. So these are 31 by 34, which is a great size to sell them quicker. So I think they'll sell quick for about 20 bucks. I paid five bucks for these vintage Levi's. This is a fun find because it still has the original tags on it. Um, and these are from uh, 1997. So uh, almost as old as me and having the original tags on them. Definitely a cool find because I've been enjoying vintage Levi's and learning more about them. Uh, not a good size, not an amazing cut, not a you know bad cut either, um, but just because they're new with tags and super old, uh, really stoked to find these. I paid five bucks for this Vineyard Vines Performance Polo. Uh, the Vineyard Vines Performance Polos always sell really well for me, especially in good sizes. This one's an XL. I would say it's about a 20 to $25 sale. I paid about five bucks for these vintage Levi's when they have the long tag across the back of the waist here like this. This is Y2K. These are from actually 2009, and the cut is the 559, which isn't great, isn't bad, uh, but these are size 36, 32, which is a decent size. So I'm basically just stacking that vintage Y2K decent size to make this a bread and butter sale of five into about 20 bucks. I paid seven bucks for these Levi's, mostly because the color, these are a super bright red color, and they are size 32, 34. So once again, that longer inseam than the waist will help these sell quicker. And I think because of the bold color, these will sell for about 20 bucks quickly. I paid five bucks for these Hudson jeans. I've had really good luck selling these lately, and these are a boot cut style, which is definitely on trend right now. And even if they sell a little bit slower, I'm happy to pay five bucks uh, for such a high retail price brand like Hudson. Um, I would guess that these will sell for about 25, 30 bucks. I paid five bucks for these J. Crew pants. The reason I grabbed these is they have this little embroidered swordfish pattern on them. Uh, and that just makes these unique. Anything with like a, a geometric all over print, anything like that, even in the better mall brands, I'm still happy to pick those up because it just helps them stand out a little bit more. I would say these are, will sell for about 20 bucks. I paid five bucks for this Banana Republic sweater. This is 100% merino wool. It has this argyle pattern. So those are the two reasons why I was willing to pick this one up. I just realized I still have a ton of items to go. So I'm gonna pick up the pace a little bit. Uh, so here we go with some rapid fire ones. Paid five bucks for this Polo Ralph Lauren vintage lambs wool sweater because of the upgraded material. That's why I picked this one up. I paid 12 for this QI cashmere sweater. I've never heard of this brand, but it was new at tags, so I looked it up. And I actually had a really good sell through rate and was selling quickly, uh, so happy to pay up on an item that's gonna sell for about 30, 40 bucks. Paid about four bucks for this Tyndale FR Henley. I love picking up flame resistant clothing because uh, the people that wear these for work kind of wear through them because they're out there working hard and they need more and they don't wanna spend the big bucks on them brand new. So I'm sure this is a nice bread and butter piece for about 20 bucks. Paid five bucks for this barber button down shirt. Uh, this is is a European 
designer brand, uh, kind of similar to Polo Ralph Lauren, but in the States it's a lot less saturated. So I would guess this will sell for about 20 bucks. I paid five bucks for this Robert Graham shirt. Same thing as the last one. This has a really loud paisley pattern on the flip cuff and on the outside. Because of that nice pattern, I'm still willing to pick it up because I know it'll sell quick for about 20 bucks. I paid $7.50 for this Banana Republic shirt. Only reason I grabbed this is it's new with tags. So because of that, I know I can sell it for about 25 bucks. Paid under three bucks for these vintage Quicksilver shorts. Here's the vintage tag. I honestly don't know how good these are, but I know that some vintage like surf and skate stuff can do really well. So for three bucks, uh, I just kind of took a chance on it and figured I would figure it out later. I paid four bucks this L.L. Bean chamois flannel. I am running out of time to sell these this winter for a premium, uh, so I'm gonna start lowering my price on these, but I was still happy to pick this one up because it was so cheap at only four bucks. Here's another L.L. Bean flannel. I paid four bucks for this one as well. Reason I grabbed this one is it has a hound's tooth pattern to it. Uh, otherwise, I would have passed even for four bucks just because I'm running out of time and this one is not that uh, chamois flannel. Uh, because in the off season, these kind of sell between ten and fifteen dollars. Um, but because of the hound's tooth pattern, I think I can still get twenty. I paid four bucks for this vintage Bill Blast sweater. Uh, if you've been following along, I've bought like eight of these and sold them all this winter. Um, this became a really nice bread and butter, and I kept finding them all over the place. Here's the tag, Bill Blast, and you're looking for made in USA on the tag. This is just a nice little bread and butter. I've been selling these for anywhere from 20 to 30, depending on the materials and the style. Uh, so I'm gonna list this one at 25, try to sell it before winter's over. I paid five bucks for this Fred Perry quarter zip sweater. I have never found this brand, but I hear resellers talking about it all the time. So honestly just grabbed it so that I could do a little bit more research on the brand and see if it's something that I'm gonna be able to find a little bit more in my area. I paid five bucks for this Solomon jacket. It's kind of like a soft shell, outdoorsy kind of thing. I saw on the side here, it said Actitherm, and when I looked that up on eBay, the comps looked really good, uh, but I saw they were selling well for 25, 30 bucks. I paid 10 bucks for these Eastern Mountain Sports hiking pants. I didn't see any comps on these in new condition, so just kind of took a gamble, but the material felt super nice uh, and really high quality, so I think that will sell it alone uh, for about 25, 30 bucks. I paid three bucks for this North Face button down. The only reason I grabbed this is because it was super cheap and a decent brand. Uh, I know this will probably be a little bit of a slower seller, but at three bucks, happy to sit on it for a while, sell it for 15 to 20. Here's another Robert Graham, paid five bucks for this one as well. This one doesn't have Paisley on the outside, only on on the inside and on the flip cuff, uh, but because of that, I can still get it into the title, which will help its exposure. And I'll still hope to sell this for 15 to 20 bucks. I paid 750 for this Under Armour jacket. I can't remember what this like uh, sideways ribbed kind of uh, puffer material is on Under Armour, but every time I found it in a jacket, uh, the un the jacket has sold really well for me. Um, so I just picked it up based off my own personal experience. So I'll have to look up the style code, figure out the name, and see how much this one in particular is worth. I paid four bucks for this LL Bean Merino Wool Base Layer. Uh, yeah, the base layers in the outdoor brand sell really well, even all year round. This one is a mid-weight, size small. I would guess it's about a $20 item. I paid seven bucks for this Ted Baker sweater. It has this nice little uh, checked print to it uh, but the real reason I picked this one up is it is a wool blend it's over 50% wool uh, so that upgraded material in a high retail price brand similar to Polar Ralph Lauren and Brooks Brothers uh, those are the ones I'm willing to pick up I think this will sell for about 25 to 30 I paid five bucks for this LL Bean sweater fleece this is a women's 1x a plus size and it has like a mid-length to it instead of just the typical uh, short length uh, so I think that's gonna help the value as well uh, the style code on here is the item ID, and it's 503355. So that's what I look up on L.L. Bean items to find the exact model name. It's in a beautiful cream color, so I know this will sell quick, probably for 30 bucks. I paid six bucks for this Scully Western shirt. Uh, this one really stood out to me because it has the pearl snaps and it has an actual skull print on it. Anytime I found a skull all over print in a decent brand, it's helped the value. Uh, so I was really confident picking this one up. Uh, from my experience, these are already like a $25, $30 item. So I'm hoping with the pearl snap and with the skull pattern, this might be like a $35, $40 item. I paid $7.50 for this Foot Joy jacket. This is a Dry Joys Tour XP. Anytime you see a good golf brand and it says tour on it, definitely look it up. I saw these selling for 40, 50, 60 bucks. This one even had some damage and I didn't mind paying 750 just because the sell through rate on the tour models were so good. I'm confident this will still sell for about 30 bucks. I paid six bucks for these Steo shorts. This is an amazing brand to be on the lookout for. I'll let you guys get a close up here. 
I've never found the shorts, never looked them up, but this brand is an automatic pickup for me if it's under 10 bucks. Um, so if I had to guess, 35 bucks, uh, could be more, could be less, but I'll let you know down below. I paid 750 for this Ibex quarter zip. Uh, this is an amazing brand as well. Here's the logo, if you can see it's very faint. And Ibex is an animal, so that's what the logo is there. And they make uh, wool items. Yeah, so this one is 86% certified merino wool. This brand can sell for a lot of money in the jackets. I've never found a sweater like this, but if I had to guess, probably 35 bucks. I paid 12.50 for this vintage Patagonia jacket. Uh, this is like a women's windbreaker kind of thing. Um, honestly, a pretty basic item, but I really try not to leave Patagonia behind on the shelves. Um, and for $12.50, and because it's a vintage piece, I'm sure I can get at least 30 bucks for this. I paid five bucks for this Visla fleece. It's kind of like presented to look like a flannel, but it is actually fleece material. This is the logo in the brand. Uh, this brand is not like a home run all the time, but I've sold these fleece flannel looking things before for about 25, 30 bucks, sometimes more. Um, so this is definitely a good item from this brand to find. I paid six bucks for these basic Nike joggers. Uh, these are just super in style and sell really quick. Just gonna turn these quick and sell for 20 bucks. I paid four bucks for this vintage crew neck sweatshirt. Uh, this was felt really nice. Like if this was a team that I liked, I would definitely be keeping this because this thing feels amazing. Um, but yeah, it's just a really nice, simple vintage piece and it's kind of ironic it says Youngstown State dad on it uh, so I'm sure some college kid is gonna buy this uh, for about 25 bucks I paid four bucks for these Mack Weldon like sweatpant joggers uh, this brand this is their kind of logo it's called four daily wear so I saw that in the waistline there and that's what told me that this was the brand because they don't really have much other branding that you can see from the outside and then here is the pocket and this brand is another one that has a really high retail price. So the resale market is a little bit slower, but they still can sell for good money. I've sold the golf pants for, I think 35, 40 bucks before. Uh, so these I would guess 20 to 25, but only paying four, happy to pick them up. And I found a couple other pairs as well. Here's another one. I paid 15 bucks for this LL Bean puffer vest. This would have been an amazing find, but there are a couple marks on the front making it not in perfect condition. If this was in perfect condition, I think this would be like a 50 to $60 vest. Uh, but in, the in this condition, I still think this is a 30 to $40 piece. So I'm gonna try to sell this one quickly uh, before the season's over to get the most I can for it. I paid 750 for this Carhartt sweatshirt. Just a little basic, uh, probably sell this for about 20 bucks. I paid five bucks for these cargo shorts. This is from the brand Clothing Arts. There's the tag. I honestly think I've just heard other YouTubers talk about this and I've never found this myself ever. Uh, so I'm hoping this is as good as I remember in my brain, uh, but I didn't even look this up because it was only five bucks and yeah, I think this is gonna be a decent item. Um, if I'm just going off my hunch, I would say these are $30 shorts, um, but hoping to be surprised for more. I paid five bucks for this Eddie Bauer Weather Edge rain jacket. Um, this is the line of Eddie Bauer that I am willing to pick up in the lighter jackets. It's called Weather Edge. It's their waterproof line. This is just a really nice outdoor jacket. Um, regardless of brand, it has a lot of function. So that is what saves the value on these. And I sell them quickly for about 25 bucks. And I have the same exact thing on this LL Bean rain jacket. This one is fleece lined, uh, but same thing. I picked it up for five and I'll sell it for 25. This next piece is a marmot fleece vest. I paid under three bucks for this. Uh, this is not that amazing of an item. It does have a company logo on it, uh, but if I'm paying under three bucks for a really good outdoor brand, I'm okay with it. It is a good size of XL, so I think that'll help it sell a little bit quicker. And I would guess is a 15 to $20 item. I paid four bucks for these Levi's. They are the 501 cut. They do have a 33 inch inseam, which is a little bit longer, which will help the value. And they have this nice dark wash. So I think these are worth about 20 bucks. Paid 750 for this Patagonia fleece. Uh, this one does have the nice kangaroo pocket on the front and the style code is down here on the side on this back tag. It is 25442. I just listed another one of these I got last week uh, for 35 or 40. So I'd guess about the same on this one. Please check the pockets of your pants and jackets before you list them on eBay because I just found something very interesting in this pocket. But I did pay only three bucks for these and I think the color is gonna sell these just like those red ones. Uh, it's just a unique color of Levi's uh, that is going to get this sold quicker uh, for probably about 20 bucks. I paid four bucks for these Under Armour golf pants. I grabbed these because they were really cheap and they have this nice little pinstriping pattern on it. So I think that'll help them stand out a little bit. Probably sell these for about 20 bucks. I paid 10 bucks for this Michael Kors button down. I only picked this brand up when I find it new with tags. This one had a nice loud herringbone print on it as well, which will help it 
The retail price on it's 80 bucks. It's size 2XL. So I think all those things are working together to make this a nice pickup and sell it for about 25 to 30. I paid 12 bucks for these Viore pants. Uh, this is the logo that you're looking for. This is an excellent brand, very similar to Lululemon. The style tag is still left on the inside here, so I know these are size 28, and the style is V430-S. I think that's the Meta Pants, if I'm uh, remembering correctly. Uh, not a great size on these, but honestly, it doesn't matter. These, This is just a great brand. I paid 10 bucks for these Lululemon golf shorts. They do have this all over X pattern on them, so I think that will help uh, the sell-through rate a little bit, help them stand out. And I'm guessing these will sell for about 30 bucks. This next item I paid 750 for a Bugatti shirt. This one is their eight-way stretch model. So right under the logo tag, you're looking for eight-way stretch. This is the best line of their shirt. I heard Big Yumbo talking about it. He said it's over 100% sell-through rate. Um, and from my experience, it sells really quick as well. Um, so happy to pick this up for 750. Even if I sell it for 25 bucks, I know it'll sell quick. I paid 750 for these vintage Levi's. They are in this nice tan colorway, which will help it stand out just a little bit. And nothing too crazy on this. Uh, nice size of 36, 32, probably $25 sale. I paid 750 for these Greg Norman golf pants. These are a Lululemon knockoff. They feel exactly like Lululemon. And I think they did that on purpose and I've heard like in you know dupe groups where they tell you how to get like a really cool item for cheaper uh, that this is a very good replacement uh, so I think because of that the resale market is pretty decent and these are new with tags and a good size of 34 34 so stacking all those things together uh, I paid 750 hope to sell these for 25 I paid 12 bucks for this LL Bean rain jacket this is one of their really high quality ones it's super heavyweight the seams on the inside are taped which is a good sign that it's a nice model Model number on this one is 281313. So I'll look that up uh, and see how much it's worth. I'm guessing about 50 bucks. I paid five bucks for this Polo Ralph Lauren quarter zip. Uh, the reason I grabbed this one is it's size 2XL and it was only five bucks. Uh, I'll probably sell this for about 20 bucks. Paid seven bucks for this Vineyard Biden's performance polo. Um, our reason I grabbed this one is it's size 2XL. It has this floral print on it, uh, which is going to increase the value and the sell through rate as well. Uh, so normally I sell these for about 25, but because of the bigger size and the print, maybe about 30 bucks. And here's another Polo Ralph Lauren sweater for five bucks, size 2XL, uh, this nice chunky knit material, about a 20 to $25 sale. I paid 12 bucks for this Polo Ralph Lauren Harrington jacket. That's what they used to call it, but Harrington is a Vero word. Um, so definitely don't use that in your title. What they call these now is the buy swing jacket. Um, this one is size 3XLT. Uh, so that's really going to help the value and the sell through rate on this. Uh, I would guess this is going to be about a $40 to $50 sale. I paid five bucks for this LL Bean soft shell jacket. The uh, reason I picked this one up is just because it's so affordable coming to the end of the season. Uh, it does have a company logo on it, uh, but it's in great condition and this brand will still sell even with that logo. Probably about 25 bucks. I also paid $750 for this LL Bean jacket. This is like, this is a fleece line bomber jacket. Uh, the style code on this is 515868. Uh, so I'm curious to look up the actual model name on this, but I'm guessing this is about a $30 jacket. I paid 30 bucks for this Levi's jacket. Reason I paid up is because it is new at tags. Uh, it is Sherpa lined and it is the premium line, which is this le big leather patch. They have jeans in this line as well. All those things increase the value and are gonna help this sell quicker. Uh, I'm really gonna try to get this sold here in the next month or so uh, before spring comes around, but I don't think I'll have a problem doing that. I paid 10 bucks for this vintage Adidas puffer jacket from Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Uh, this thing was just really cool. It had a lot of cool features uh, and I think this will be a really nice sportswear piece. It's also size 2XL, which will help the value. I'm guessing this is about a $50 jacket. I paid four bucks for this Grayson polo. Uh, here's the brand name that you're looking for and here's the logo and this one actually has an all-over print of that little wolf logo and this specific print definitely sells really quickly and for good money this is a youth size so I don't know how that's gonna affect the value but I definitely wasn't leaving it behind for four bucks here's that other pair of Mack Weldon joggers I paid four bucks probably sell it for 20 to 25 this one's kind of interesting I paid five bucks for this this is a Tommy Bahama island zone pullover which is a pretty decent item on its own uh, but this one is actually embroidered with the New York Jets and it's actually a team issue so you can tell because it has this little uh, logo with the person's name in there uh, so I'm um, Kind of curious how that works because really when I found team issue stuff, it's been more like athletic apparel. Uh, so I don't know how that's going to affect the value. But the nice thing about this one is that the item itself is a pretty decent one with the Island Zone quarter zip. And it kind of has that uh, very niche 
thing of being a player issue. I'm guessing this is about a $25 item, but I'm hoping that maybe it's worth a little bit more. I paid four bucks for this express sweater. Only reason I grabbed this is it's new with tags. I paid $7.50 for this Browns Nike on-field apparel jacket. I love the on-field apparel line. This is the kind of logo on the inside that you're looking for. This is a nice like lightweight spring jacket, so I'm hoping that this is a really good item in the upcoming months. I would guess it'll sell for about 30 bucks. I paid $7.50 for this Polo Ralph Lauren rugby shirt. Uh, the reason I knew this was a rugby shirt, it has the very specific buttons and it has all these patches and whatnot. And it also has the elbow patches. And these louder rugby shirts can go for really good money. It has this nice little uh, logo on the collar and it's size 2XL. And this is actually an acrylic blend as well, but I'm sure that actually helps the value a little bit too. I would guess this is a $35 to $40 item. I paid $7.50 for this LL Bean quilted puffer jacket. Outerwear in this brand really just sells amazing for me. Um, the style code on this one is 503398. So I'm excited to look that up and see how much this is worth. I paid $7.50 for some Bulwark FR jeans. These are new with tags, which definitely will help the value. Once again, the flame resistant clothing category is really good bread and butter for me. Uh, because those people are working outside in the elements, uh, they actually do take wear and you know get destroyed and they need to buy new. Uh, whereas a lot of our modern clothing, it doesn't really get that wear and tear so we can wear it until we're bored with it and donate it and sell it ourselves or whatever else. But this is an actual need for the people out there working. I paid $12.50 for this women's Steo soft shell jacket. It is new with tags. Uh, so I'm very curious to look it up and see how much this is worth. I have no idea. But when I saw this on the new rack, I just grabbed it immediately and I had a 50% off coupon uh, that day. So I was able to get it for $12.50. So very stoked about that. And here's that logo once again. This is an amazing brand to be on the lookout for. It's Stio, S-T-I-O. I definitely have my work cut out for me to get all those listed quickly, especially those winter items. I wanna get them listed uh, right now so that I can have a chance to sell them for the most amount of money before spring rolls around in most of the country. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below. I'd love to see you in a future video.